Ever pondered why planets orbit more rapidly when they're snuggled near the Sun? This intriguing occurrence is far from random. It's an elaborate tenet of astronomical physics, painstakingly clarified by Johannes Kepler, a famed astronomer of the 17th century. This principle is named after him, popularly known as Kepler's Second Law, or the Law of Equal Areas. Within within the trifecta of Kepler's laws, the second one occupies a special place. It gives us an accurate understanding of the orbital path of the planets around the Sun. It's an indispensable segment of the cosmic jigsaw, a piece that illuminates the seemingly erratic movement of planets. Now, what sets this law apart? It proposes a scenario where a line segment linking a planet and the Sun sweeps out equal areas in equal time periods. Despite sounding intricate and possibly intimidating, it's the very intricacy that adds to the beauty of the cosmos, painting it as a captivating enigma. The second law implies that when a planet is closer to the Sun in its elliptical orbit, it moves faster, and when it is farther away, it moves slower. This is because the gravitational pull of the Sun is stronger when the planet is closer, causing it to move more quickly. However, the area that the planet sweeps out in its orbit remains constant over equal time periods. Kepler's laws, particularly the second one, have had an immense impact in shaping our comprehension of the universe. They unveil the metronome of the cosmos, highlighting its accuracy and predictability. These laws stand as a tribute to Kepler's brilliance. His acute observational prowess managed to encapsulate the essence of the cosmic waltz, which to mesmerize us today. Does this sound a bit too convoluted? Let's simplify it. Imagine a planet orbiting the Sun as if it were a car on a racetrack. When the car is on a straight path, it moves relatively slow. But as it turns around the bend, it speeds up. This is essentially how planets orbit the Sun, thanks to the gravitational pull. When they're closer, they zoom quickly, and when they're farther, they slow down. Yet of speed, the area they cover over a set time remains constant. This is Kepler's second law, and this is the rhythm of our cosmos. Visualize a celestial body circumnavigating the sun, not in an ideal circle, but along an elliptical path. This isn't your average celestial body, but a lush planet teeming with diverse life forms, remarkable landscapes, expansive oceans, dense forests, and sprawling mountains and valleys. Focus now on the intricate dance the planet performs as it orbits the Sun. The orbit is not a perfect circle, but more of a distorted, stretched-out version of one. Envision drawing an imaginary line from the blazing core of the Sun to this planet. This imaginary line, rather than being a static, unchanging link, is a dynamic connector that continuously shifts and moves, tracking the planet's celestial journey around the Sun, much like the unwavering hand of a clock moving around its center, symbolizing, symbolizing the relentless passage of time with each complete rotation. This fascinating concept rests upon Kepler's second law of planetary motion, a fundamental principle in our understanding of how celestial bodies move. According to the tenets of this law, the swept area that this imaginary line covers over a set period of time remains consistently the same, irrespective of the planet's position in its elliptical orbit. So, what implications does this have on our planet and its movement in relation to the Sun? Here's where it really gets interesting. The planet's speed isn't constant. It varies depending on its distance from the Sun. As the planet approaches the Sun, it gains momentum and travels at a heightened speed. On the other hand, as it moves further away from the Sun, it loses some of this momentum and accordingly decreases its speed. This fluctuation in speed, or this is what ensures that the swept area remains constant. When the planet is closer to the Sun, its increased speed allows it to cover more distance in the same amount of time and therefore sweep the same area as when it's further away but moving slower. This is a testament to the balance and harmony of our universe, a delicate equilibrium maintained by this incredible law. This continuous oscillation in speed is what allows the swept area of our planet's orbit to remain constant. 
It is this consistent swept area that is a key factor in maintaining the delicate balance of our universe as per Kepler's second law. So you might be wondering, what is the underlying mechanism responsible for this fascinating phenomena? Well, the response is more straightforward than you might anticipate. It all hinges on one fundamental principle, the sun's gravitational pull, an aspect that doesn't usually cross our minds in everyday life. Our awe-inspiring sun, the central of our solar system, is not just a bright, warming presence in the sky. It's a massive object with an intense gravitational field. This incredible star exerts its gravitational force on all the surrounding celestial bodies, including planets, comets, asteroids, and even distant spacecraft. A force that keeps everything in its place, a cosmic glue of sorts. Now consider a planet, Earth, for example. When it finds itself drawn closer to the blazing sun, the strength of this gravitational interaction intensifies. Imagine it like a magnetic pull. The nearer the objects, the stronger, stronger the attraction. The increased gravitational force compels the planet to accelerate, causing it to traverse its orbital path at greater speeds. It's a cosmic dance, choreographed by gravity itself. But what happens as the planet embarks on its journey away from the sun, altering its position in the vast celestial tapestry? The gravitational pull doesn't stay constant, as the distance between the Sun and the planet increases, the gravitational force starts to diminish gradually. The farther the planet, the weaker the gravitational hold, akin to a stretched rubber band losing its tension. In response to the weakening of the Sun's gravitational, the planet's pace begins to decelerate. The dynamic force that originally propelled the planet to accelerate is no longer as potent when the distance increases. Therefore, the planet slows down adjusting its speed in the enormous cosmic ballet. It's a captivating cycle of speed and distance, brought about by the Sun's gravitational force, playing out tirelessly in the vast expanse of our solar system, expanding on the fundamental principles of Kepler's second law. It's worth noting that this law reflects the conservation of angular momentum. This means that the planet's speed changes based on its distance from the Sun. As a result, of the balance between its gravitational attraction and its desire to move in a straight line. When the planet is closer to the Sun, its gravitational attraction is stronger, pulling it more directly towards the Sun. As a result, the planet moves faster to maintain its orbit without plummeting into the Sun. Contrarily, when the planet is further from the Sun, the gravitational pull decreases. This distance allows the planet to attempt to move in a straight line, which results in a slower orbit speed. However, the Sun's gravity still prevents it from shooting off into space. This balance between the desire to move in a straight line and the Sun's gravitational pull is what controls the speed of a planet in its orbit. At the same time, the law posits that the line joining the planet and the Sun sweeps out equal areas in equal times. So when the planet is further from the Sun and moving slower, it covers a larger radial distance, but a smaller arc. Conversely, when it is closer and moving faster, it covers a smaller radial distance, but a larger arc. In essence, Kepler's second law is a meticulous commentary on the complex ballet of celestial mechanics, underscoring the effect of varying gravitational pull on the speed of a planet as it orbits the Kepler's second law is a fundamental principle that helps astronomers understand and predict the movement of planets. It's a testament to the beauty and precision of the natural world, where even the vast and complex motion of celestial bodies follows a set of simple, elegant rules. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, there's a lot more going on than meets the eye.